everyone, it's Sarah here and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is another routine video. So I know a lot of you enjoyed seeing our early morning routine I did with the piggies earlier this year. So welcome to our evening routine. And this evening routine is quite flexible. It doesn't really vary much between weekdays and weekends. Many of the tasks are daily ones. So I hope you enjoy this bit of behind the scenes with the piggies. So it's getting to spring and summertime and we still have a decent amount of light coming in the piggies room, which is nice. Those winter months just feel so dark and dreary. I'm always happier when the sun is out more. So by this point in the day, everyone is pretty chilled out and can normally be found lounging in one of the cozy beds. Evenings for me is when I do the bigger daily cage clean, which isn't actually that big or time consuming. I start off by tidying up the rest of the cage before getting onto their litter tray. This way, my sweepings from the liner and pads go straight in the litter tray, which I'm about to change, making it easier to contain the mess. Cause as we all know, piggies are experts at creating mess. And for the litter tray, you can see why it needs changing every day. I just roll it up, bag it, spray it with disinfectant, and then I use newspaper or magazines to line the bottom. Like with any plastic cage, the pee stains a bit over time, and I'd actually like to get the piggies some new litter trays very soon, as this one is so old and a bit broken. Some people ask whether the hay gets changed every day, and it does, as well as getting topped up throughout the day. So we might get through hay a bit faster than some people, but the piggies love having a hay room that they can play and sleep in. It's a more natural area of the cage and I also think it encourages them to eat more hay, which is good because it's the most important part of their diet. And for the pads, I do the same thing as I did earlier in the day. If any look a bit gross or feel a bit wet, I change them out and pop the dirty ones in old pillowcases ready for washing. With that done, there's just a touch more sweeping and rearranging of the cage to do. These fleece pads are the same ones which I showed how to make in a previous video, which I'll link in the description below. If you have a fleece liner, I highly recommend waterproof pads. They're great for putting in the pee hotspots and they really make the liner last so much longer. The piggies spend a while munching on fresh hay at this point. This is sometimes a nice time in the day to just sit back and watch them hang out for a while. I find it's really relaxing to watch them just go about their business and enjoy being in the freshly cleaned cage. I don't usually have to do anything with the food and water bottles, but sometimes one of the bottles might be getting a bit low. If anyone else finds that there, piggies always have a favourite water bottle to drink from, let me know. And I try to avoid filling up the pellets. It can be tempting, but actually if they run out overnight, it's nothing to worry about. It means they've had their fill for the day and they'll just eat hay instead. Next up is some weighing and grooming. So in case you don't know, Lyra is my senior piggy in the herd. She is a beautiful silver agouti and white lunkaya, and she actually just turned six years old at the end of March. Some of you might have noticed that her hair is a bit thinner than it was, which is a result of ovarian cysts. They don't bother her in any other way, so it's just something for me to be aware of and monitor. Despite some recent health struggles, she is doing really well at the moment, but because of her age, I do weigh her daily. She does fluctuate a lot, but if I see any pattern in weight loss, then it's a sign to me that a vet visit might be in order. Next up for a quick brush is Pedro, who is a Peruvian guinea pig and our latest addition to the herd. Don't worry, he is neutered. Being a Peruvian, he's got quite long, straight, luscious hair that grows forwards towards his head. He's not that keen on getting brushed, but I find he can start to look a bit scruffy and tangly if I don't do it at least every other day. And he actually likes having his tummy brushed more than anywhere else. Time for some veggies, which of course is the piggy's favourite part of the evening. Now generally I always feed in two separate meal times, one in the morning and the second in the evening. I try and give as much variety as possible without going overboard with the amounts. Today we have some red pepper, cucumber, lettuce and coriander. If 
you're working on taming with your own piggies, then my best advice is to do hand feeding wherever possible. It is hands down the best way to bond with your pigs. It's also good for making sure everyone gets an even portion of everything and there's not one greedy piggy gobbling up all the best bits. Okay, well, make sure you share nicely. Pedro can be a bit shy, bless him. He's definitely still settling into his new life with these three. The perfect end to a biggie day is a bit of lap time and floor time. It's not something we can do every day, but even if just for a short 20 minutes or so, the piggies definitely benefit from a little exploration and a bit of exercise. I usually just keep a liner down here in the lounge and bring their whole litter tray down so they have somewhere to pee. And it actually works really well to stop any accidents happening on the carpet. So we just go ahead, turn on the TV and relax whilst the piggies wander around. Some extra beds are appreciated, but not when everyone tries to pile in at once, guys. The youngsters can still be a bit skittish, but they are improving slowly. Lyra and Pedro, on the other hand, are pros at floor time and nothing bothers them in the slightest. Pedro especially is really confident, which is surprising as he's a rescue piggy. And Phoebe has a bad habit of sneaking under the furniture. I really hope she doesn't teach the others this. Eventually, I can't resist a good cuddle. This is another great way to bond with your pigs. Whilst many might be scared at first, they will realise that there's nothing to be afraid of and maybe when they get a bit older, they'll even curl up to sleep on you. After a good snuggle, the pigs go back to their cage for the night and that's where we leave this evening routine with happy, full and sleepy piggies. I really hope you enjoyed watching, guys. If you want more routines, then here's the morning routine that I mentioned and if you want to hear more tips on taming and bonding with your guinea pig, here is my other video on building their trust. That's all for now guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week! Bye bye!